Another thing is that when you're born in the new paradigm, you will connect not only with other people, but with other life forms. You will pick up on information and communication from everything around you. It's simply that your brain is wired a little bit differently. So you will sense information. And you can feel energy. You can feel vibration. It's just part of who you are. A lot will also sense other beings, other cultures, other dimensions. Now, an important part of this is that a lot of the individuals incarnating in the new paradigm, they come directly from other life forms and other more advanced civilizations. So it's not just the old individuals having reincarnated as humans being kind of recycled into the new paradigm. These are souls, atmas, that have recently been incarnating into different life forms, different cultures, and also the cultures that humans are a part of. So incarnating with that as a backdrop, they will bring with them a more advanced understanding of civilization, of what it means to coexist. And many of you have memories from other cultures and planets, and you are aware of it. And these memories are real. They might be filtered through the human mind, so how you remember might not be entirely correct. But you still know that the essence and the core of your memories are real. You just know. So you bring with you memories and you're still connected to the other life forms and other civilizations. And this is an important part of the new paradigm. Because what's happening now is like once humans have passed this bump, which is this phase where the life form normally will self-destruct, when humans are established on the kind of other side of it, then humans will be ready to um, have contact with other civilizations and life forms that are part of this family. Because humans are part of a greater family of species. And humans are not ready yet because, of course, if it became public knowledge, that other species are here, the first impulse would be to kill them. You know? Because humans are so aggressive and have very little understanding that other life forms might be a little bit more advanced than that. So humans are not ready yet. We need to move beyond this level. But this is part of the preparation that these individuals are now incarnating as humans is like a cultural exchange program, you know? Uh, but it will change how humans experience themselves. And of course, for, for, for a lot of people, these memories might simply be intuitive. They might not have any concrete memories, but they just know like, you know, I don't feel human. Uh, a lot of people in the new paradigm, they don't associate or identify with their bodies. This, this is a typical marker, like every single person in the new paradigm experience that they are in a body, that they are in the human culture, but they're not part of it. Um, typical thing is that you don't really identify with gender because as Atma, you have no gender. You go through different life forms, different, different experiences, but as Atma, you have no gender. You simply are. So you can accept it. You incarnate into a, a body and you express yourself in whatever way. 
And sometimes you will not even identify as human. You don't feel human, not based on the old paradigm definition of what it means to be human. You experience yourself as being free. You're simply consciousness presence, and you're in this body, this culture, but it's not you. It's not who you are. And this is, I think, one of the most clear characteristics of those incarnated in the new paradigm. It's not a disconnection from being human. It's simply that you're in a state of consciousness beyond the old definitions. Because it means you're still human in this lifetime. But as any evolved individual, evolved atma will know is that this is simply a body. And you go through billions upon billions of lifetimes in different life forms, dimensions, realities. And they're fun. It means that you can experience life from a certain perspective. But it's not who you are. So lack of identity is quite strong. And if you relate that to the old paradigm, you will get problems. And many of you do, because you feel that you need to fit in. You feel you need to understand yourself. And you're in a body, in a culture, and you don't feel any identity, and you try, you try to fit in, you try to be human, but it means nothing to you because you've seen through it. This is just a body. It's a monkey suit. And you try to do the monkey things, and it's not you. And many can feel that they have a lack of identity because in the old paradigm, one still hasn't reached the point where it's collective knowledge that we are Atma going through lifetimes. In the old paradigm, it was that I am human, I am a person, I have a soul. In the new paradigm, it is I am soul or Atma, I go through lifetimes. It's a very different perspective. So when you are still connected to the old paradigm, but you lack the identity associated with this lifetime, you feel empty because you, you don't know how to handle it. So it's important when and if you feel this lack of identity, understand that it's because you will not find it in your body, your brain or your mind. It's a monkey suit. You have to connect with who and what you are spiritually. And when you do, you will get it. You will feel like you're home again. But that lack of identity with the current definition of what it means to be human is important because you're also here to channel in new definitions based on your previous experiences from other um, cultures and life forms. That is needed. That's part of how we can assist the human life form past this very kind of critical stage. So you're here for a reason. So don't try to fit in. Ever. You are the front line. You are a part of the group that is supposed to bring the human identity forward. And part of your experience of being disconnected from the human experience opens up your channels so that you can bring in a more advanced, more expanded version of what it means to be human. Trying to fit in to the old paradigm is a waste of time and it's painful. 
It's basically if you, as an adult, try to put on children's clothing. You can try. It won't work. No matter what you do, you will never fit in. Because you have already grown out of it. The new paradigm is now starting to crystallize very, very slowly. This has been a slow process. It always in whenever we kind of phase in new planetary paradigms like, like these, it takes time. Now it's starting to solidify. And this is why this is starting to become a concrete experience. And you can learn to adapt to the new. Once you understand this paradigm and you understand yourself and your role in it, then you can work with your own kind of platform in life, your identity and your own purpose. You're here to bring the planet forward. And that is what you need to start acting upon. You need to go beyond the level of survival and you need to recognize within yourself the patterns that are still living in a state of survival consciousness. Move them over to the new paradigm. Survival is not important because nature always exists. As soul, as atma, you never die. So survival is an illusion. And when you exist beyond time, beyond forever, then there is purpose. It's not about trying to survive because you will always exist. Purpose. Empathy. Integrity. In taking that responsibility and being part of this enormous change of the planet. And let me be very clear. If this is not successful, the human life form will self-destruct. The old paradigm is steering very, very firmly towards the end. And this is why it's important to incarnate higher consciousness and allow for individuals of higher consciousness to, to come in and redefine existence on, on this planet. <laughs>